Hi, everybody. I'm Marley Ginter. Tonight at 7, homes in Montague are teetering on the edge of Lake Michigan as erosion forces them inches from the shore. Some are now trying new methods to keep waves at bay with concrete seawalls. It's a process that's never been done on Lake Michigan. Our Lakeshore reporter Whitney Burney was there as contractors worked to put the structures in place. It's a battle homeowners have been fighting for much of the year. As we see it from year to year, it's amazing how much is gone. It's incredible. The homes that are at risk, it's unbelievable. Erosion turning homes like this one into this in just a few storms. Several homeowners facing the same have installed rock walls, other steel sea walls. Some are now turning their eye to concrete options, a process that's never been done before on Lake Michigan. This is a seawall that is a lot of mass. It's a, a lot of weight. It's 10 feet thick on the base. Contractors pour cement into these bags, let it dry, and then stack two more on top. This is some of the concrete that they poured fresh this morning. And after about a week of curing, it becomes this rock hard structure that helps to keep waves at bay. All right, Rocky, let's go. The blocks connected by steel rods and cables make a foundation for a dune to later form on top. You can see the waves coming in right now. As, as the beach eventually comes up, this system will allow the beach to completely encapsulate it in sand. I, and it, it won't deteriorate because it's concrete. Heavy rocks are added to the front oh, yeah. to prevent scouring Easily. underneath. And that's the beauty of this product is it's so rapidly deployable that if somebody is in a dire situation like that, we can come in and in one day ha stop the bleeding. The process costs tens of thousands of dollars, but contractors believe it's a more permanent structure. Right now we've got him enough protection that this winter and in the early spring, if we did nothing else, this place is safe. This installation is a trial, but contractors say they already have several homeowners interested. More permits will pinned after Eagle inspects the completed wall in a few weeks. In Montague, Whitney Burney, News 8.